Hello, Video Game Hunter here, and welcome to another Video Game Hunter's Let's Play. And today, I am going to be playing something to do with Love Demo. That's right, folks, it is just a demo at this fine moment, and you can download the demo for free at the Steam page, which I will leave a link down below. And for those who don't know what this game is about, the game is actually a furry dating simulator. That's right folks, a furry dating simulator. I probably already turned most of you guys heads around and backed up on this video, but that's okay. Please give the game a chance, you might enjoy this. Um, this is actually not the first time I'll be playing this demo. I actually played this demo several months ago. And the reason I'm playing it now is because the guy actually put up his second attempt of crowdsourcing for this game. His first time um, doing the crowdsourcing, he did not succeed on his goal, which kind of sucks. Because I don't think anyone actually really knew about it. Not even me, even though I'm somewhat familiar with his work. Which I really do feel bad. I really want to see this game to exist. But now since he's trying the crowdsourcing for the second time on Kickstarter, I am really hoping he actually reaches goal so that we can actually play the full-fledged game. Now I want to make this clear before I start playing this game. I am no way, shape, or form associated with the Kickstarter or this game. I just kind of want to spread the word out just a little bit see if anyone else is interested. If so, please feel free to become a backer if you choose to, you don't have to. But please feel free to try out the demo, which again, I'll put a link down below where you can download it. So that said, let's go and play this game. Alright, we just start up the game and as usual, just like last time, I really enjoy this scenery right here. Even though this is just the menu, I already enjoy the scenery. <laughs> Ah, oh, it makes you feel like you're watching those old VHS tapes. Anyway, that said, let's go check options real quick. Frames per second, 30 slash 60. I'm hoping my computer can handle 60 frames per second. If not, this is going to suck, but it should because this is just a simple game. So, Bloom, I don't know what that is. Lens Miss, don't know what that is. Lens Flare, yes, I know what that is, but I don't care for it. Off grain, off vignette, vignette. I not for a hundred percent sure how to pronounce that, but I'm turning that off too. But sensor nudity, huh? Now, last time I played this demo, it didn't really show any nudity, and it's not because it, the sensor was on. It's because it didn't really offer any opportunity to show off any, but. I'm gonna leave it off just in case he did update this demo by any chance. So, let's turn sensitivity off and let's go and play this game. Still not going. Ooh, I'm Wilson! 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 Alright, so. POS computer, POS computer pretty much, we've been writing down rentals in a ledger lately. I am sure if I am pronouncing these words correctly. Gotta hang on it or the drawers won't open. People never want to browse under the precautious TV shelf, so we started putting all the bad movies there. Okay. Back room. People think it's a magical archive. Every movie they could ever ask for. Only thing back there is a broken vacuum. Ah, My dreams has now been shattered. Uh, I knew I should have closed this place early today. Who wins a movie on the 4th of July? I don't know. You might have Independence Day. I would totally rent Independence Day. Because I never seen the movie. So yeah, I would totally rent that. <laughs> Might as well count down the register. At least Lucia should be getting here pretty soon. Cool. Man, I love the cutscene. Like I mentioned already, this feels like I'm watching those old VHS tapes. 
Man, this is awesome. <laughs> Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Something to do with love. Lucio's calls evening. All right, let's go and talk to her, I guess. You didn't make a beer run? Um, the guy on the left is kind of um fidgeting a bit. He, she's all smooth and everything, but him, he's kind of fidgeting a bit. Not yet. I'm gonna stop at the place on the 25th Street. It's on the way. A new place that's opened up over here. I was gonna stop at the dollar store while I was over there and get snacks or something. They got snacks at the beer place. I can't afford beer place snacks. I only got like 20 bucks. We can stop by the gas station and get gas station snacks. You're running low. Uh, I was getting them for the party. On gas? Oh, we're fine. It just looks empty from your angle. The guards is, de is designed to read from the driver's seat, you know. Well, well, stop for gas. I'll pay. You really should stop for gas. Fuel pumps are designed to run with gas in them. Oh, I think he's being so caught a second um, over here. Oh, 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 I didn't know that was a multiple choice. I don't know what I selected, but I really did not know that was a multiple choice right there. We're fine. If you say so. Well, I still need it. It's just not right this second. I was planning on fueling up on the way back. What if I don't need a ride home? You're driving me. Don't get drunk. Oh. Another multiple choice. They should really make some, I guess, dots right next to choices or something to let me know this is a multiple choice. It, it looks like it looks like regular text to me. You're driving me. Don't get drunk. Yeah, of course. You're bringing Carl home, right? Let's play that by ear. Okay. All right. They reopened the gas station up here. No need to get out of the way. The crappy one? Yeah, pull in here. Right here, here? You missed it. I didn't miss it. It's $3.89 a gallon. Screw that. Is that high? Is that high? Are you high? No, I wish I was high, but no, I'm not high. It would make my Let's Play a lot more entertaining if I was high. I told you, I got plenty of gas left. We're fine. Like I said, I'll grab it on the way back. I'm telling you, we're fine. When someone says we're fine, we're not fine. Especially coming from a female. I learned that the hard way. With gas prices the way they are, I've got this gas garage down to a science. Second, 26th Street, evening. Well, apparently we ran out of gas, bitch. Damn it. What did I say? What did I say? When a FEMA says everything is fine, it's not fine. It's absolutely not fine. And this just proves my point. And this is evidence enough. My God. <laughs> we should have stopped. <laughs> She's pissed. At least we were almost there. She's definitely pissed. See a spot yet? That might be one up there. Is in the yellow zone. Whatever, I doubt they're taking it, taking it now. 
I, li I like that song. It's low quality. It's perfect for this game. Neil's backyard. <clears throat> What's up, dog? Oh, lion. He's a lion. I bet he's a lion. Oh, he could be a dog. Does this mean you're not driving me home? Don't be an ass. But <laughs> she's bitch. You, you said we were fine. We're totally not fine. Nah, really. What's going on here? <laughs> we just ran out of gas. It's, it's all. We almost made it. Aren't you supposed to be the queen of the gas guards or something? Ah, he got you there. We ought for like 10 minutes trying to find an opening coming out of the beer place. You should have gone to the new place. Yep. Got a gas can? I fill it at my uncle's pump. He lives over this way. Yeah, if you think that's alright. No problem. The can holds what? A gallon? Got a fever I can give him? A fiver. <laughs> Not fever, a fiver. Don't you think that's a little high? Whatever, here. Hey, it's conflict free gas. It's just the more of that thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Mind going with him, Will? No problem, you grab the beer. Lead the way. It, it, it doesn't really look like they're walking. It just looks like this is, you know, going side to side. Side to side. Howdy, howdy, hi. Yay, fireworks. So it's go. Okay, click on them. So is Arlene here? I'm not 100% sure who's Arlene here. But yeah, is Arlene here? Arlene from the pub? Yeah, she's here. Something going on there? Like how? Between the two of you? Maybe, I don't know. That we would be terrible if it was the case. Wow, listen to you, a regular Don John. I mean, we get talking when she comes into the shop. Actually, talking. And if I see her at the cafe or whatever, it's the same kind of thing. And she's like smiles at me and occasionally addresses me as handsome or cutie and she asked me to come to this party even though I was already going. Does that sound like something going on? This is the Arlene from the pub, right? Yeah, I usually see her at the cafe though. She works days there. Well, if it's Arlene from the pub, then it certainly sounds like something's going on to me. Sweet. I don't know. A lady working two jobs. When she's going to have enough time for me, though. How's the party? Mostly good. People were starting shit, and I was like, How about we all just party and be pals? And the jerks was like, Nuh uh, I got more pull in this house than the other jerk. I have no clue. What that means at all. Maybe privilege? He has maybe more p privilege at the house than the other guy? Maybe? And that joke was like, dude, you don't even know. Fuck you. And he was like, fuck me. And that went on for a while. Anyway, Neil cooled them off and they'll both left, so that's good. Yeah. Any party poopers can just go and leave. Get the fuck out of here. May might still be a little pissed, but otherwise, it's pretty good party. I just got. I just killed the last beer though. Thanks for bringing more. It, it's party etiquette. Everyone should bring beer. Sucks those drugs probably drank most of it. You shouldn't have drank it all. Oh, oh, that's um, another multiple choice. Again, I wish they make this more clearly letting me know this is a multiple choice. It looks like regular text to me. Well, I party a lot, so yeah, everyone should bring beer. Seriously, it's not that hard drinking beer. Bring some beer. Totally, that's why we never had any problems at all parties. Everyone brought beer. I never had to buy any. And there was always shitloads. 
<clears throat> Alcohol is like a lube for a social situation. It helps things along in whatever you feel. You feel hard. I love you, man. Ah, brotherly love. And I'm pretty sure they're not gaily love. Which, I'm cool with gay, but I'm pretty sure that's not how they feel. I'm pretty sure that's not how they feel. Social lubricant. I love you, man. And Vina Vitas. I have no clue. But I'm going to say, I love you too, man. Hmm. Sorry, but Plex response. Were you pre-gaming or what? You haven't had a girlfriend for a while now. Quit reminding me, game. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for reminding me. Ah, oh, you're gonna cry? Maybe when I'm done playing this game. So I'm pretty sure I've obliterated one of those jerks in a touchdown saving tackle back in school. I'm like 90% sure he's flatter and starting to go bored. <laughs> but I'm like 80 or 90% sure. Oh, fatter. Okay, not flatter. Damn. I don't think she remembers me, though. Aren't those rival games always televised? I bet a bunch of football dads upload their camcorder footage to the internet, too. Oh, shit. Good point. They probably relive that moment all the time. I bet they were drinking to forget. <laughs> Man, affected life. That's powerful shit. We gotta be compassionate to each other, you know? He has hardship too. Man, he's not just a crumble body on the 10 yard line. He's a dude too. If we're all just... I do not... I don't know. Maybe it wasn't even the guy. Like I said, I was only like 80 or 90% sure. How far is your uncle's place? Good question. We've been talking like forever. <laughs> oh. We walked past it. Later that night. Well, I saw a little flash. Um, and my game footage recorder caught that. I kind of want to see what that was. It could be a nipple. Oh, no. Hey, Will. Glad you made it. I heard you had some call trouble. I was about to get out of here, actually, but I would consider now that my pal showed up. And it's only your pal. Aw, oh, Chuck, it's good to see you, too. Beer? Ha, huh, I was totally setting up that joke. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Great minds think alike, or whatever. What I miss, anyway? Burgers, some shenanigans, and verbal altercations between two people who I presume drank all the beer. Oh, fuck those guys. Remember, kids, when you're 21 and going to a party, always bring beer. Don't be that guy who drinks them all and doesn't bring none. If, if so, you're an asshole. And I actually knew someone who actually did that. Who will show up, brings nothing, not even a snack, not even like a can of soda. He comes along and eats everything, drinks everything. Gosh, I'm glad I don't see him anymore. What an asshole. Neil's friends, I guess. You went to school with him, right? You probably know those guys. They certainly sound like Neil's friends. How you know I went to school with them? Well, when I invited you here, you should have mentioned that you were already coming. Anyway, he told me. Let's see, they're talking about me. Hmm. What else did Neil said about me? Oh, stuff. He's quite the salesman. Oh man, I think she's really into me. Nice. Good guy, Neil. Where is he anyway? I haven't seen him. I saw him drive off. I guess this party is hostless. Oh no. Let's trash it. <laughs> oh, maybe he's getting more beer. Hopefully. Let's hopefully he gets more beer. You can never have enough beer. That I don't know that all the stuff going on, you know. Yeah. Where's May at anyway? <gasps> oh! 
Oh, she's giving me a hug. Oh, she wrapped me around with a tail. Oh, she's so cute and adorable. I want her to be my girlfriend. I'm not joking. She's so cute and adorable. And she's so fine. My God. Hey, Willie. May. What? Don't you start now. I know we have problems. I could feel it. Fight. People climbing on the roof and shooting fireworks out of the out of the ass. Freeloading freeloaders drinking all the beer. She's pissed. I know she wants some beer. I want some beer right now, but I don't have any. Talking about me? Some of those things apply to you? Yes. Come on, I bought Wait, I don't know what that says. And folding tables. You always bring... Don't know what that word is. Oh, it's quilts. You always bring quilts and folding tables. It's not like the... Finite fucking resources. I had finite... What? I don't... Oh, this is why I shouldn't do visual novels all that much. Especially when I'm doing a Let's Play. Hey, if some judge cracks that slack or something, that's it, man. Gotta replace it. And haven't you seen all those videos on the internet? Folding tables are like idiot magnets. The odds of it surviving at a party gets lower and lower all the time. Well, he didn't say get lower, get lower all the time. But anyway, it said get lower. <laughs> what do you think, really? Yep. You know, you hear about it if nobody bought them. Don't encourage him. He doesn't even play quotes or pong. Come on, Lucy. Don't be that way. I don't play. Yeah, I bring them anyway. Always putting others first. Car. Car. It's car, right? It's car, but call me whatever. I don't care. Alrighty, jerk face. So, what was with that tackle? What was that about what you said you literally do to whoever brought beer? You know, I brought the beer. I brought the beer! That's not a deal breaker with her, you know. So, uh, heard we missed a flight. Oh, fight, not flight. Yeah, don't worry about it. Neil and his dumb friend took off. As far as you're concerned, we all just been having a great time watching Carlo, Carlo shoot bottle rockets out of his ass. Neil's friends? Carlo, Carlo, jerk face, whatever, don't. Okay. I mean, as far as I know, he never banged any of them. Just saying. I'm assuming he's talking about ass fucking fireworks and up his ass. You know what? Our friends are gone. They left. I banged some of them because sex is fun. So, they're my friends too. What? I'm guessing she literally banged some of those guys? Okay. I kind of lost some respect with you, but okay. Oh, oh, whatever. I gotta pee. She gotta pee. Okay, I'm gonna mingle. Alright, let's go and look around a bit. Dues, <laughs> Lucy, Car, Lucy, Arlene, Neil's house. Then. Looks like a shed. No, oh, okay, never mind. I didn't see that part of the house. I, I literally thought that's just a little shed. But no, that's, um, okay. That makes sense now. Let's go up to the dudes. What's up, dudes? How you doing? Not well. This guy is whooping my ass. I meant in general, not your quote score. Oh, then very well. 
I've got a good view of the babes from over here. No wonder I'm losing so bad. Oh, sup? You okay? I'm fine, just working on sobering up. I gotta get home and get studying for exams. I don't know why I came in came in the first place. I've only worried about school at the entire time I've been here. Wow, that sucks, dude. I thought maybe this party could could reset me, you know? Get me in that zone. I was pretty burned out. No luck? Nope. Well, if you if you change your mind, more beer now. There's more beer now. The party's just getting started. Thanks. Positive dude. Well, this might be a decent guy. He it says positive dude. So let's check him out. Hey, it's the hero who saved the party. Oh, not me. The redhead over there brought the beer. Okay, I thought I brought the beer. I'm pretty sure I brought the beer, but I'll let it slide. I'll give her the credit that she may deserve, even though we had to go and push the car because she said the gas gouge was fine. In which you have seen, it wasn't fine. It wasn't. Oh, I'll be sure to thank her. Apparently, some people weren't savvy to the first rule of partying in this town. I bet they were from Jersey, freeloader types, like, that are always coming over from Jersey expecting keggers. Bingo, they went to school with Neo and I. Oh shit, my bad, I didn't know you were New Jerseyans. It's cool. We, we're naturalized Pennsylvanians at this point. Right on. Alright. Alright, let's check out the females, let's see some sexy females. No, you're not sexy female. Okay, maybe you two are sexy female, but you're not a sexy female. No, you're not. Chicks. Woo, I like the middle. I like the middle a lot. What's her name? Rose. I like you a lot, Rose. You're very pretty. You're very beautiful. I'd like to know more about you. But I'll save the pretty one last. Familiar chick. Ah, oh, shit. What? I know if I got overdue tapes, I'll pay the fee. It's whatever. Oh, uh, I was coming over to let you know there's beer. Oh, thanks, video store guy. That's what most people call me, but you can call me Wilson. I thought I recognized you from somewhere. Agnes. Oh, I think that's how you pronounce her name, Agnes. It's just Agnes, no cute abbreviation or anything, cause then people just ask my name anyway, and they're like, oh, Agnes, huh? Oh, okay. Is that it? So, Agnes, what do you want? A few movies, let's see. Cry Onion, Aladdin. Oh, we gotta love Aladdin. I love Aladdin. The Godfather, the complete epic. I don't... I'm gonna assume the first Godfather. The first Godfather was fantastic. I will give... For that much credit, the second one, I actually ain't watched it in reverse. I saw this two before I saw disc one. So I saw the ending first in the beginning. That was four hours of my life I'm never going to get back. But the... Mm. We got this other version of Aladdin people keep renting by accident. Like, not the one everyone knows. Yeah, I rented that one. Oh, sorry, I usually clarify for people. No, no, that's the one I was after, and the other guy rang, rang me up anyway. What's up, Wilson? Hey, Agnes, what was that movie, Cry Onion? How do you like The Godfather, the complete epic? Oh. Ah, oh, man, I... Ah, oh, that, that's, that's, that's what really bugs me about this game at this fine moment. I need a clear indication to let me know that this part is a multiple choice. Regular text does not tell me this is a multiple choice part. Oh, it's like the Godfather. I haven't watched it yet. Part of my way I'm late getting those tapes back. Okay. It's like seven hours long or something. It's something I got got to plan around. I was actually considering staying home and watching it. Maybe I should have, huh? 
Oh, there, I saw it years ago, but couldn't remember the title, so it's been eluding me. It's an Italian comedy western. This onion guy says wants to grow onions, but these goons wants his land. So he beats the crap out of them, and he's like, squirts them with onions and stuff. I didn't know he can squirt onions. Maybe it was, maybe he squirted them with bad onion juice or something. It's silly, but it got some surprisingly great production design. Some creative stunts and gags in there too. Don't worry, I will be kind. <laughs> That's a rewind reference when you went movies back in the day. Please be kind and rewind. All right, um, yeah. That chick is totally, totally drunk. You brought more beer, thank you. Actually, it was a chick with red hair and glasses. You can thank her. Yes, red hair, glasses, I saw her. Oh yeah? Yeah, I came out of the bathroom and she's like, went in. Oh man, poor girl. You doing okay? Alex. Oh, oh, hi Alex, I'm Wilson. Are you doing okay, Alex? Oh, I thought you were asking my name, Wilson? It's Wilson, like sports balls, right? <laughs> sports balls, right? Whatever helps you remember it. Most people think of one particular sports ball from this one movie. Oh, yeah? Huh. So, uh... Wilson, I should probably tell you, I'm pretty drunk. Yes, you are. You're... You're doing a very bad job hiding it, too. No kidding. I'm not even seeing what I'm supposed to be seeing. I'm funk as drunk right now. Alright, Rose. Hey, do you know if you saw we brought more beer? Well, that's good news. It's over on Carlos' table. Help yourself. No thanks, I'm not a fan of beer, but hey, more for you guys. Man. <clears throat> you should drink beer anyway. I mean, come on, it took, it took me a while to enjoy beer, beer, but it's so much easier to drink when you're hanging out with friends, and that's the honest truth. Um, maybe don't tell the girl to my left. Tell me what? Nothing, forget it. Oh, okay. How's the party treating you? Pretty good, all things considered. A lot of people are confusing me for that maid chick, but otherwise pretty good. No wonder I find you so fine. You do look like her. But you do have some traits in common. Oh? Yeah, I can see people getting mixed up. I guess, but those guys seem to know May pretty well. You think they know the differences. The guys who took off, I mean, they were wasted. Still. So I take it those guys were pretty forward. Oh yeah, big time. Too bad they started going at it. At first I thought they were fighting over me. I was kind of flattered for a while. Oh, that would have been something. I mean, I wouldn't have obliged the victor or anything like that. But... Uh, yeah, they were pretty forward. Haven't seen that other gal for a while now. Did you... Did you... Uh, did she go inside? Um, yes, she did. Hey, you. What's up, Arlene? How do you know May? She's my roommate. Ah... Uh, I know what they I know what they've been doing behind closed doors. <laughs> Wait, you're the roommate she mentioned? Yeah, I guess that'll be me. Yeah, I've actually been over to Maid's place before. I guess you're in the room at the top of the stairs. Did you and May? Uh 
No, nothing like that. She wanted to show me something in her collection. I hope it's a video game collection. You know what? I guarantee you she has a video game collection. I seen, like I mentioned before, I seen that little video this guy also made. That's how I know about his work. <clears throat> well, I guess I can skip the tour if you ever come over to my place. Hey, all right. She's really into me, but I'm sorry, I'm actually more into May. Hey, you. What's up, Arlene? So, do you live with May, or what's that like? Uh, wouldn't say live. I'm not around a lot with work and everything. I basically only sleep there. It's basic roommate stuff. We split rent utilities. Guys. Sorry. Please don't ask. It's not actual things that happens, but don't ask all the time. Hey you, what's up Arlene? So what are you doing after the party? Doing anything after the party? You're asking me what I'm doing or what we're doing. Can I still talk to her? No. Uh, so you want to do something after the party? Want to hang out after the party? Winds down? Thought you'd never ask. You still want to chill later? Not ready. Not ready to go just yet. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Ooh. Oh no, the my other two buddies left. <laughs> hmm. You're not alone in here. Hey, Willie! What's wrong? You okay? Ah, oh, stuff. I was trying to reach Nia. I do know where he went. That guy never answered his phone. It's probably nothing to worry about. Yeah, I guess. Willie, let me ask you something. The guys Neil booted from the party, they were friends of yours, right? I don't know, who was it? Chad, Wallace, and Mike something? I know who you're talking about, but not really. I haven't talked to them since probably middle school. Okay, don't worry about it then. I think I know somebody who might be able to reach them. You don't get along with Lucia? Oh, I get along with everyone, really. I mean, I like mutually. Hey, I try my best. Maybe she does too. I don't know. She seems to tolerate me despite whatever the hell her problem is with me. She's like that with a lot of people. Don't take it to heart. I don't. You're the one who brought it up. Oh, I apologize. Sorry, was that just... Was just curious as are. If you need somebody to talk to about Neil, I don't know who probably know more about what's going on than I do. Like I said, he's just kind of poofed out of here all of a sudden. Actually, we don't really talk that much anymore. Huh, <laughs> join the freaking club. I just want him to come back. He better get his ass back here. Huh, <laughs> you said it. Tell me more, Arlene. Uh, I don't think she wants me saying too much about her. Kind of a unwinting roommate agreement. I like Arlene a lot. I think she has sweat. She's a swell gal. Oh, that's disappointing. I don't know what to say. She's workaholic. She's barely ever around. She got the same awful taste in movies as you. Does that, I guess. Oh, you're mean. I'll be alright, thanks for talking to me. Alright, let's go talk to her. I kinda want I kinda want to talk to her. I don't want to go out with her, but oh well. <sighs> no prob. I'm glad I can make you feel better. Alright, Arlene, let's go. You still want to chill later? Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Yeah, I wanna come back to my place? I mean, I already seen yours. Huh. Not my bedroom? Whoa, listen to me. I'm sorry. 
It's all good. I guess we should say goodbye to everyone. Don't want to pour a French exit. Yeah. Hey, Lucy, we're going to get going. I guess you won't be needing that ride. Uh, nope. I'll still pay for the gas, though. I didn't forget. It's all good. I'll see you guys around. Let me know. Uh, never mind. Anyone else you want to say goodbye to? Yes. I'll be alright. Thanks for talking to me. Oh, come on. I want to say goodbye to you. Oh, man. How about that one chick? I want to say goodbye to that one chick. See ya. Aw. Oh, you're leaving? Shit. Bye. I'm sure I'll see you at the shop. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, where's your place? Later that night. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. I think he... Oh. Oh, I think he added something new to the demo. Oh, what's going What's going to happen? He actually added... I think he really added something new to the demo. Because, um... I actually went home with someone else. And all I got left was a driving scene. And that was it. But since I went home with someone else, maybe I got, like, a different ending. Or maybe he did add something. Oh, what's going to happen next? Jesus, dark in here. If this were a movie, I'd say something like somebody turns on the light or some shit like that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not funny. Whoa, hey now. Where's the lights? Oh, I think I saw it. Light switch. Whoa, he lives in a really nice place. Especially for a guy who works at a movie store. Or a movie rental store. Nice. Oh, let there be light. Who said that line? I forget. Uh, God, I think. Oh, yeah, duh. Whoa, swanky pad you got here. I know. Look at this place. Show me around. Some posters. I've heard of, like, one of these movies. Yeah, I don't think anyone has. Most of these were super cheap online. I guess you got good taste in movies as far as I... as, as getting some reasonably priced poster goes. Alright. That's a nice window. Man. Whoa, here's the view out the window. Generally, it's nothing special, but I bet we could... See, the fire looks pretty good tonight. Yeah, let's have a look. I don't know. That's my bedroom up there. Sure, let's go see. Yay! Oh, jeez. I just let that one out, didn't I? It's cool. You're excited. Yeah, I got these stages when a night is going really well. I'm just happy. I bet you are. I'm glad you're really having a good time. What's the next stage? You come upstairs with me and watch the fireworks with me. Cool. Pretty view. Nice view, huh? Kind of romantic, huh? Mm-hmm. Tonight's been fun. I'm glad I stuck around at the party. Me too. Sorry, I'm not better at this. Usually I'd be tripping over myself, saying all these kind of a brewish shit about how I never do this. Instead, I'm giving a cute guy an earful about how I'm not doing that this time. How's that treating you? <laughs> Beats the prudish shit, I guess. I never took you for that type of girl. You've been so, uh, upfront with your... particularity. I don't know. Haha. <laughs> oh my god, listen to you. You remind me of me before I blossomed or whatever. For real though, even that was a process. 
Once I found out you were Signal, and it took some big time psyching myself up to stop dropping floats on you. <laughs> God, these romantic ass fireworks are exploding all over the place, aren't they? Huh. <laughs> Must be the grand finale. It doesn't have to be. We can make some fireworks of our own. Ooh. Wanna bang? Oblige only. Oblige only. <gasps> oh, I'm so censoring that. <laughs> oh, wow. Sweet mother of God. Looks like they are having a good time. <laughs> to be continued. Yeah, that that was something. Oh, I wondering if he really added those. <laughs> I wonder he added that ending in. Like I said, I actually picked the uh, other chick, and all I got was like, "Call ride home." And yeah, again, like I said, that's it. But yeah, um, let me go. And this is giving off some special thanks. But to give you my final thoughts on this game, yeah, it does have my interest. It still does. The only issue I have with this game is really the fact that um, I'm not 100% sure when it's a multiple choice. That all the text looks the same. They need to do something about the multiple choice part where it can uh, they can tell me, hey, this is a multiple choice. They need either one, highlight it, or two, they put some kind of text above or somewhere that says, hey, multiple choice, please, please pick or make a decision. But that's it. That's really my only complaint. They need to change how they do in multiple choice but other than that I'm still interested in this game and I'm looking forward hoping the Kickstarter does well so that said thank you everyone so much like I mentioned earlier in this video you can try out this demo in a link down below on Steam's website or program that I don't think it really matters which one you use but I think you do need a program to download this and if you're really interested in this game and you want to become a backer like I am on the Kickstarter, I'll leave a link to the Kickstarter page down below. So that said, thank you everyone for watching. This is the Video Game Hunter, and until next time, stay furry.